Lindsay Romero is a young instructor from the University of San Carlos in Cebu City, Philippines. On Sundays, Romero takes his undergraduate classes on a field trip to see the historic Patrocinio de Maria Church of Bolhoon in southeastern Cebu. This is the oldest stone church in Cebu and has been declared by the Philippine National Museum as a national cultural treasure. Because uh, one is uh, very noticeable right now that the young generation don't know about their identity and they try to neglect this kind of things that is very important to know and this is very significant to know our history, to love our identity. The municipality of Bolhoon is found along the southeastern coast of Cebu and is about a two-hour drive from the provincial capital. Romero believes that it is a worthwhile trip to help his students grow to love their cultural inheritance. So in the levels of learning, there are a lot of th uh, levels of learnings like books or textbooks, then going to the landscape, dramatization, touching the object, interviews. From there, you can, uh, you can develop different things, insights, and you can gather ideas. And that's the level of learning that I want, that my students will be, uh, will be more developed on this kind of pressuring things. A trip to Bolhoon Church affords the student a glimpse of the early Spanish colonial church architecture. The church is built like a fortress with walls made from limestone and mortar two meters thick. Its windows are small, high and are fortified with iron grillwork. Similar to other Augustinian churches built during the colonial period, the ceiling of Patrocinio de Maria is high and decorated. The altar and the other church adornments hint at the wealth and prosperity of Bolhoon during colonial times. But the church over the centuries has fallen victim to theft. Stories are told about an unscrupulous parish priest who stole the ivory from the old statues and as well as the gold and silver adornments. The church once boasted of a solid silver communion rail, but it too was stolen. The precious artifacts that remain have been housed in the Bolhoon Museum, which was also found in the church structure. These include vestments that are embroidered with solid gold thread, silver and gold ornaments, even old crockery. There are also three antique statues that were brought over from Mexico during the height of galleon trade. Outside the church is another attraction, although a temporary one. Archaeologists recently discovered burial sites dating back to the 15th century right in front of the church. It seems as if the church was built on top of a graveyard but archaeologist Giorgio Bersales says otherwise. So we know all, all these early missionaries said that Cebuanos, Visayans, buried their dead underneath their houses or beside their houses. So we suspect that these are settlements and burials in between. The burial sites and the other artifacts found in the diggings show that Bolhoon was already pre-colonial settlement by the time the Spaniards arrived in the Philippine Islands. The church must have been built right beside this ancient Filipino settlement. You know, it helps confirm the Augustinian missionaries or the early missionaries who went with the conquistadores, went into areas for conversion where there were already settlements so they could convert the natives. So we find here a transition period between the pre-Spanish and the first arrival of the, the missionaries when they began converting. The diggings will soon be covered, but Bersalis and his team have already begun the tedious and laborious process of sorting and labeling the samples yielded by each site. Some of their finds will go to the Museo Subo at Cebu City, while most, they hope, will remain here in Bolhoon. These artifacts, along with the church itself, are invaluable in the task of making history and culture a tangible experience for a younger generation. We have these sites. We are identified as one of the 26 churches declared as a national treasure. We have to drive our people 
on this awareness, understanding, and preservation. Cebu is not only Magellan's Cross. Cebu is not only Plantation Bay. Cebu is all about Bolon. Cebu is all about cultural heritage preservation. Cebu is all about culture. Cebu. <laughs>